A large fire destroyed part of a shopping center in a small eastern Kentucky community tonight. How this is having a major impact in the town. We will find out the root cause, the bottom of it. But Estill County leaders also have another message to their community tonight as investigators are still trying to figure out the cause of a salmonella outbreak. Why road crews are having trouble cleaning up a mudslide that's closed a southern Kentucky road for much of the day. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening. It's been a long stretch of snowy and cold weather going back at least to last week, and we have one more foggy night ahead. But tomorrow, it looks like some much better weather will finally be moving in. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has the details in your no wait weather forecast. Chris? Guys, only one way to go from here, and that is certainly up. And we're seeing still a lot of clouds out there across the region now. But we are focusing on what's going on to our southwest. Look at the milder air flooding into the Plain States, the Mississippi. River Valley 50 this afternoon is close by as Paducah. That is the air that is going to surge in here over the next couple of days. So, indeed, better weather is on the way to the Bluegrass State. It's on the way. It's not here just yet. It's still ugly out there. A lot of clouds across central and eastern Kentucky. Some fog. Even a little stripe of some light snow showers that can dust a rooftop or two. We're looking out over top of Hamburg Pavilion now. Live sky cam. A little bit ago, I had more in the way of fog showing up. The fog is trying to scour out just a little bit. 33 degrees still in Lexington. Many areas are right around 32. Up and at them tomorrow morning. Trip into work and school at 27 degrees. Tomorrow afternoon, it gets better. Into the low and mid 40s into much of central and eastern Kentucky as clouds begin to break up. Nice weather to take us into the weekend. A spring fling, it's not going to last. Winter is only taking a break. I'll show you why I think that at 11:13. All right, Chris, we'll see you then. Thank you. The smoke could be seen from miles away. Tonight, a large fire ripped through a Menifee County shopping center, destroying some of the businesses there. That fire started just before 7 tonight at the Trade Mart on Main Street in Frenchburg. Firefighters from three counties were called in tonight to battle the flames. Garrett Weimer is tracking the investigation from the scene in our top story at 11. Firefighters say when they got here, flames were coming through the roof. It stayed that way even after the roof collapsed. As you can see, we have uh, we have fought this best we can, and it'll probably end up being a total loss for the trademark. Several people who live nearby told me off camera it was a popular spot and even had pretty good food. The fire chief says the convenience store was open at the time, but thankfully everyone got out okay. The owner of the Army Navy surplus store next door watched as his business too went up in smoke. He tells me his shop is badly damaged, but crews tried to save as much of his stuff as they could. The fire chief says the laundromat, also in the plaza, does not appear to be damaged. We'll continue to, to fight this fire to uh, save as much property and equipment here as we can and hopefully have no injuries. Chief Back says they turned the power off to the building, which automatically cuts off the gas pumps. So he says that was not a concern. But firefighters were on the scene for hours to finish the job. A fire so big, it took crews from several counties to do it. I want to thank Montgomery County and uh, Bath County for assisting us with this uh, situation. In Menifee County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Firefighters say it's too early to figure out exactly what caused the fire tonight. Many people in Estill County have been demanding answers the last few weeks. They want to know the source of a salmonella outbreak that's made dozens of people sick. But tonight, county leaders are asking for patience. They say they're working hard to find answers, and this investigation is difficult. New at 11, Monique Blair talked to the county's judge executive for an update. It's a small town, a very small community. Everybody knows everybody. Estill County, so small that virtually everyone knows someone affected by the salmonella outbreak. Uh, I just visited a, one of my employees this afternoon in the hospital that has it. But it being a small county also means it seems the outbreak is what everyone is talking about. You hear a lot of rumors, you hear a lot of a feed, negative feedback. The negative feedback is exactly what the Estill County Health Department says is not helping their investigation, so they're asking the public for patience. Judge Executive Wallace Taylor says he too wants to know what caused the outbreak, but he says blaming people or businesses isn't helping the situation. The blame game goes to nobody. He could be something, young lady, as me shaking your hand. 
Now, Judge Taylor says, unfortunately, another negative effect of the salmonella outbreak has been on the local businesses here in Estill County. The restaurant business was down over Super Bowl weekend, 50 percent. They should have been up 50 percent. Judge Taylor says the community should not panic because he believes whatever caused the outbreak is no longer lingering around. I will not tolerate anything that is unsafe to the public. I think it's just something that we're just going to have to be patient with. And, you know, I hate it for the, the people that are suffering from it, but I think they'll be okay. In Estill County, Monique Blair, WKYT. The Estill County Health Department says so far there are 51 confirmed cases of salmonella, but the judge executive thinks the final number will be more than 100 once all test results are returned. Police think a masked man who robbed a pizza store at gunpoint could be behind other robberies in central Kentucky. Georgetown police say he robbed the Domino's on Broadway about 2 this morning just as it was closing. They say the employees inside followed his orders and he ran off with some money. Georgetown police plan to increase patrols in that area, and the store's owner said he'll be adding some new security equipment. It's not cheap, and it really makes you reevaluate the business, but anything you can do for the safety and security of your employees is the, is the most important thing. Georgetown police have not made any arrests so far. They say the same man could also be behind a robbery at a nearby Dollar General store and a robbery in Lexington. New tonight, Animal Control says that they have rescued two starving dogs from a Nicholasville home. Jessamine County Animal Care and Control says a tip led them to the home this afternoon. They say that both dogs were left outside in the cold and they were very thin. Animal Control took them from the home. This is a picture of one of those dogs being treated. They're now in the care of a vet. Animal Control leaders say that charges are possible in this case and they're asking for donations to help pay for the dog's care. We have information at WKYT.com. New tonight, President Obama is expected to take a trip to Cuba next month. The White House is planning to make the announcement as early as tomorrow. It would be the first visit to Cuba by a sitting U.S. president in nearly 90 years. President Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro announced in 2014 that the two countries would begin restoring some ties. Today, people in Whitley County paid tribute to a man who spent decades serving the community. Former Williamsburg Police Chief Chuck Davis died Saturday at the age of 63. He was also once a detective with the Whitley County Sheriff's Office, a county police chief, and an E911 director. His funeral was held this afternoon. People who knew Davis said he was courageous and loyal. And everything that. I ever do in life. I, I, I hope I do it like he did because he did it with integrity, he did it with honor, um, and he did it with a good heart and a good spirit. In 1991, Davis was recognized as the Kentucky Peace Officer of the Year. Today, the Kentucky Senate passed an education reform bill that calls for some changes in elementary, middle, and high schools. The bill would create a new system to review and change Kentucky academic standards. It would also erase parts of statewide testing and change how teachers are evaluated. The bill would also give school districts more control. For example, they would be able to address low-performing schools before the state steps in. That's something that many school leaders support. That's something we've advocated uh, strongly for for a long period of time, is that local school districts be allowed to intervene at an earlier stage in schools that they've already identified as having uh, some systemic problem. The bill now goes on to the House for consideration. New tonight, road crews are still struggling to clean up a mudslide on a Rockcastle County road. They closed U.S. 25 near Highway 909 this morning when mud slid onto the road. This afternoon, they nearly had all of that mud removed when more mud and debris slid down. At one point, they were able to reopen a lane, but tonight they had to shut down the entire road again. State transportation leaders say they're not sure how long that road will be blocked. He says burglars have targeted his church five times in the last 10 years. But what a Whitley County pastor says they stole this week may surprise you. That's in nine minutes. And then how trash will soon become treasure for people looking for free Wi-Fi in Louisville. Clouds are awfully stubborn across the bluegrass state. Up next, the hour-by-hour -hour forecast will time the clouds out of the region and some sun back in. We'll show you when it arrives where you live next. For years, police officers executed drug busts and then used the money from the stings to improve the department. Better training, better equipment, better weapons. 
Now that's gone. It does put a strain on the department itself. It did provide uh, funds to buy equipment with and stuff. WKYT investigates what police departments are doing to help make up for the shortfall to keep you safe. If you're going to uh, be in the ball game, you got to have a player on the floor. Protecting for less, Thursday at 6 on WKYT. What's better than a low price? No price. Get four years free of interest with no money down on qualifying purchases. Plus, double the free stuff up to $1,000. While you save up to half off. During free February. Final weekend. It's Tuesday. Nobody eats peanuts. After you're injured at work, a lot of times the insurance company will attempt to call you, take statements. Don't speak to them until you speak with an experienced workers' compensation attorney. The insurance company will attempt to settle your case for pennies on the dollar. Before you talk to the insurance company, call us first. Our job is to make sure you get all the money you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. What is going on? Today we're going to run a slalom course. Not down the mountain, but up it. That's terrifying. In one of these. Sweet. The Chevy Silverado offers a combination of four-wheel drive and an exclusive auto-locking rear differential. Let's do this. So if a rear wheel starts to slip, the axle automatically locks to provide better traction. Feels like a beast. Grip's great. Dude, that was awesome. Now during truck month, get this Silverado All-Star with a total value of $7,500. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. We've just made the biggest laundry buyout in our 70-year history. Now get a buyout LG or Whirlpool washer and dryer and save up to 30%. 24 months, zero interest. And we service what we sell. Another reason why... Nobody beats P-Rats. I'm WKYT's Rebecca Smith, and I stand for Kentucky. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. It's been the same old, same old for the past several days in terms of the weather. And to prove that point, look at the 24-hour temperature change. Notice all the zeros that are showing up into central Kentucky. Lexington, Danville, Richmond, London, Somerset, goose eggs. That means our temperature now is the exact same number that we were showing you last night. A little cooler into the Mount Sterling and Moorhead area. Most thermometers right at 32 degrees. It's about where we spent the better part of the day. This is what happens when you have low clouds, fog, overcast conditions for days on end. Temperatures just do not move very much at all, and every number is similar to the surrounding numbers. Live sky cam. Conditions are improving a little bit. Had the low clouds earlier, and I mentioned this off the top of the show, a couple of hours ago we were looking toward Hamburg, and you really couldn't see a whole lot because of the fog that was trying to build back in. The skies were lowering a little bit, and now the skies are rising. And we've got clean skies right on top of the Louisville area. So some clearing to our west, slowly breaking out as we go through tomorrow morning. We get those clouds to erode from southwest to northeast. That means farther south you are, better the chance of seeing some sun earlier in the day. For the rest of us, may have to wait into the afternoon, but after a cold start, watch for slick spots, by the way, we'll hit the mid and maybe some upper 40s. I suspect there could be a pocket of slightly cooler temperatures. Why? Look at the new hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Watch your timeline, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. It is insisting that parts of the bluegrass region hang on to a couple of clouds through the afternoon. And notice what it is trying to do. Now, knowing a little bit about this particular model, it likes to run a little cool anyway. So we, even if we add a few degrees to this, we're going to be substantially cooler than our neighbors to the south that may make a run toward 45 to 50. Now we go into Friday. Let the games begin in terms of some milder air. Friday, great time of the week anyway because, well, it's Friday. Weekend is around the corner. Now let's throw in 55 to 60 for a high temperature, if not a true low 60. Good news there. Uh, we have clear skies. Bad news, it clouds over fairly quickly as we go into Friday night, Saturday morning with a shower around. Not going to rain all day on Saturday by any stretch of the imagination. Those temperatures that will be back into the low 60s Saturday afternoon. You got a big date on Saturday night? Dinner plans? How about temperatures even at 11 o'clock Saturday into the 50s? 
during that time. Rain this weekend. You get a shower or two on Saturday morning. A better chance coming Sunday, but this is not a washout of a weekend, though our Sunday isn't looking to be the best in the world. Three-day threat track. Not a whole lot going on tomorrow. Partly sunny, breezy. Winds, though, will be the big player on Friday. We go into Saturday. Could see a shower, but the temperatures will really take off as we go into that time frame. So that's our weekend that has a little spring fling to it. Next week, though, especially Tuesday, Wednesday, jet stream's going to take a big dip across the eastern half of the country. Chances are that fires up a storm somewhere across the southeastern seaboard. Is it close enough to impact our weather? Does it stay to our east? We'll fine tune that as we get a little closer, but old man winter isn't through with us just yet. We go toward the weekend. Let's focus on the good, shall we? Temperatures low 60, 62 degrees on Saturday, looking absolutely gorgeous during that time. Then we'll worry about next week as we get closer. Absolutely. We could use the nice break for once. Yeah, we could. In 1134, you'll see your emoji forecast. We'll see, we'll expand that all the way into the weekend with the emojis, too. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. You bet. All right. A Florida couple has claimed their share of last month's record Powerball jackpot, but who they didn't tell about their big win. Might surprise you. That's in seven minutes. The treasure folks are loving is the ocean's greatest haul. McDonald's filet fish the most golden of them all. Right now, get two flaky filet fish sandwiches for just $5. Do, 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 do. Kentucky's Lucky for Life and got a thousand bucks a day in the mail for the rest of your life, you'd love your mailbox too. They say life gets better the older you get and time becomes more valuable. Time to spend with family, time to try new things, time to have fun. At Kroger, you can have your prescriptions filled while you shop. So it's easy to save money and time with your Kroger Pharmacy. And you can get back to the things you love. Be heart smart. Your Kroger pharmacist can help you understand your heart health numbers, your medications, and so much more. See your Kroger pharmacist today. No matter what time it is or wherever you are, your Toyota dealers are always open at buyatoyota.com. Now, during the final days of Toyota's Anytime Anywhere event, get a great deal on the adventurous new 2016 RAV4, including the first ever RAV4 hybrid, with financing as low as 0%, and leases from just $209 a month. So visit here, and then come in here, before it all ends February 29th. Toyota, let's go places. Oak Factory is home with a $5.99 sofa, and we're going to tell you why. Our 599 sofas are American made by England Furniture and their frames have a lifetime warranty. You pick your style, such as this one with nail heads or this one with the skirt. Then you pick your own fabric. And England offers you a 10 year warranty on their seat cushion. Now, for the best part, it's delivered to Oak Factory in 21 days. Before you buy a sofa, you owe it to yourself to visit Oak Factory. Wake up with a hot McCafe coffee starting at only $1. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. With three days to go before the South Carolina Republican primary, one of the candidates picked up a key endorsement from that state today. South Carolina Republican Governor Nikki Haley said she is supporting Marco Rubio in the race. It was seen as a blow to Jeb Bush because just a few days ago, Haley had a private meeting with his brother, former President George W. Bush. If we elect Marco Rubio, every day will be a great day in America. Recent polls show Donald Trump with a sizable lead among South Carolina Republicans. He said tonight he believes he has the broad appeal to win the Republican nomination. The South Carolina Republican primary is Saturday, and Democrats are allowed to vote in it. Tonight, a Whitley County pastor tells us he can't understand why burglars keep targeting his church. The latest burglary at Oak Ridge Church of God happened earlier this week. In this case, the pastor says the burglars got away with soda, a garbage can, tools, and a ladder. He says in the last 10 years, burglars have broken into the church five times. 
It's very frustrating. Uh, you uh, live in a community that, that uh, you would think would respect the house of God more. The pastor says, as far as he knows, police have not arrested anyone for any of the burglaries at the church. He's now thinking about some new security measures and possibly closing the parking lot when church services are not being held. A rally was held at the state capitol today in support of a bill that would protect gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people from workplace and housing discrimination. Eight cities in Kentucky already have similar laws on the books, but House Bill 155 would offer statewide protection. Supporters say passing the bill is the right thing to do. I have a uh, transgender son who came out a little over a year ago, and it just sharpened the issue for me to think of, of the kinds of discrimination and problems he might face in the workplace. The House Judiciary Committee had a hearing on the bill today, but its sponsor, Democratic Representative Mary Lou Marzian of Louisville, said it doesn't have enough votes to pass. She thinks the bill is a few years away from even getting a vote on the House floor. And new tonight, Louisville city leaders have found an unusual way to create more Wi Fi hotspots in the city. They're turning to solar powered trash compactors at bus stops. Not only will the trash compactors be able to handle up to five times more trash, they'll be able to have 4G hotspots. Louisville city leaders say the compactors each will have a radius of up to 200 feet. The Wi Fi will be free at each hotspot. The trash compactors will be rolled out in the coming months. New tonight, a Florida couple who had won had one of the three winning tickets for last month's $1.6 billion Powerball jackpot has stepped forward. Engineer David Kaltschmidt and his wife Maureen Smith, a homemaker, claimed the prize today. They bought the winning ticket at a grocery store in Melbourne Beach, Florida. They say for a month, only their legal advisors knew they had won. They didn't even tell their family. That was hard, <laughs> really hard, especially when everyone was saying, you know, you're from Melbourne Beach, did you win, do you know who won? Well, the couple won a more than $500 million share, but decided to take a lump sum payment of nearly $328 million. The other winning tickets were sold in California and Tennessee. That is a pretty big secret to keep for a month. But I bet their family's celebrating nonetheless. Yes. That, that is a <laughs> lot of money. Well, the Cats can pay back Tennessee tomorrow in Rupp, Rob. It was a tough loss two weeks ago, but not a lot of talk about revenge today. There was plenty of talk about how this team is playing better and better. We'll We'll hear from Isaiah Briscoe and Charles Matthews when we come back with sports. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. Steak? I thought we were on a budget. I can't eat another fish stick. I hear you. How about a vacation? I thought we were on a budget. If we book on Allegiant, we can totally afford it. The sun, the surf, we all deserve a break. Listen to your wallet. Kids all set? Yeah. What should I order? It's so beautiful here. I love the sun. The weather is perfect. My tan looks amazing. Ready to eat? Listen to your wallet and visit Allegiant.com now. Paul Miller invites you to dare to compare. From the power of Skyactiv technology to Mazda's fuel efficiency and safety, no other vehicles can compare. This is the Mazda way. New 2016 Mazda 3 sedans leased for just $159 per month for 36 months. New 2016 Mazda 6 sedans leased for only $199 per month for 36 months. New 2016 Mazda CX-5 leased for just $229 per month for 36 months. Dare to compare today. Point click drive. PaulMillerMazda.com. Friday's Mega Millions jackpot is $104 million. If you're going to say better ingredients, better pizza, you better deliver. Which is why I'm introducing our new Papa John's Quality Guarantee. Love your pizza or get another one absolutely free. Get any large pizza with up to five toppings for just $9.99. Online only at PapaJohns.com. We hid cameras in two different cars. The Chevy Equinox with built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi and the Ford Escape without. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Keep your legs down. Yeah. 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 Put your legs down. Yeah. Chevrolet is the first and only car company to bring built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi to cars, trucks, and crossovers. 
Current qualified GM lessees can get this Chevy Equinox for around $199 a month. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. It's that time of year again, snow, ice, and the danger of slipping and falling, and not just outdoors. Hi, I'm Kevin Renfro. Store owners want you to come in and spend your money, but they have the responsibility to keep their premises safe, especially in winter. When they don't and you're injured in a slip and fall, you may be owed damages. If you've been hurt, give us a call. We want to help you get all you deserve. Serious, experienced results. Call the Becker Law Office, just dial three. Philip Pratt, a proud grandfather, a loving and caring family man, a hardworking small business owner, someone who knows how to grow jobs and change the landscape in Frankfurt. Philip Pratt will hold government accountable responsibly, fight Obama's crippling government overreach on our agriculture economy, and preserve our Kentucky heritage in Owen and Scott County. On Tuesday, March 8th, vote Philip Pratt for state representative. If you're going to say better ingredients, better pizza, you better deliver. Which is why I'm introducing our new Papa John's Quality Guarantee. Love your pizza or get another one absolutely free. Get any large pizza with up to five toppings for just $9.99. Online only at PapaJohns.com. Momentum is that word so often used, and the Cats sure have seemed to have caught it over the last week. They hope to keep it going tomorrow night against Tennessee. Since losing two weeks ago in Knoxville, the Cats have really come on, looking like a national contender. And it's been a whole lot more fun. Well, I mean, like I said, I had fun in the beginning of the year, but I mean, these past couple games, you know, I think we've just been clicking at, at the top notch, and, you know, we've just been carrying the momentum game to game. Just staying at it. You know, perseverance. We not. We don't get too high off a, a win, and we don't get too down off a loss. So we just stay steady and continue to get better. Never before had Isaiah Briscoe had a coach thrown out as early as John Calipari was Saturday afternoon. Along with Jamal Murray, Isaiah had to hold Cal back. I wasn't expecting that. I'm sure the team wasn't expecting that. Um, I didn't. I didn't hear Coach Cal say anything to the ref, but I mean. The ref did what he had to do, and um, you know, before coach left, you know, we told my coach, "We got this. Don't worry about it." Well, they did have it. They won by 27 points. The Cats still will not have Alex Poitras tomorrow night. Cal said today that Poitras has been able to do some stuff on the court, but he's not ready to play as he recovers from a knee injury. Next up is Tennessee tomorrow night in Rupp Arena, seven o'clock. It will be on ESPN. Final week of the regular season, Trancy hosting Franklin tonight, and it was back and forth. Lowell Gordon with a big night, 16 points, hitting four threes. Cooper Theobald was the man for Trancy, the drive and a foul. He gets it to go. Theobald had 29, went to overtime. Franklin's Brett McCory, 4 of 4 from behind the arc, giving the Grizzlies the lead. Down three, waning seconds. Trancy trying to tie it. But the three from Parker Stansberry is off the mark. Trancy Falls 87 to 84. The Pioneers will have to win the final game of the season Saturday in order to make it into the conference tournament. Madison Central playing Lexington Catholic in the old gym tonight. The Indians, Tariq Miller, have a hot hand. The jumper is good. Miller with 33 points, 10 rebounds. The other way, it is Peter Whitman off the miss. Whitman gets the putback. He had 18 points, 12 boards. And look at this. Central on the outlet to Grant Brockman. And somehow he flips it in in double overtime. Madison Central winning it 69-66. Former Kentucky standout Avery Williamson back in Lexington this week. The fifth-round draft pick is now the Tennessee Titans leader on defense. Williamson led the team in tackles last season at inside linebacker. He says OTAs begin in April, but with UK's new football facility scheduled to open this summer, he will be back here more often. Williamson says he's grown as a player since finishing his career at Kentucky. Going in, being, being a starter of week five, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy. So um, uh, I wasn't expecting that going to the combine. I wanted that, but you know, that's what you tell coaches, like, yeah, I'm ready to start, but I mean, back in here, you kind of like, can I start, can I compete in this league? But um, being able to actually do it, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing. 
And Lafayette offensive lineman and senior to be Jed Wills is thought to be Mark Stoops' top recruiting target in the class of 2017. He is getting a lot of offers today. It was Penn State a day after, after Michigan offered him. The 6'5", 310-pound Wills considered the 36th overall prospect by 24-7 sports in the class of 2017. Wills has offers from Kentucky, Alabama, Auburn, Florida, Miami, LSU, and many, many others. Tubby Smith's Texas Tech team beat Oklahoma tonight. Stay with us now as Matt Jones looks ahead to March. Kentucky has played its way as a national title contender, and we'll talk about it next on Overtime. The treasure folks are loving is the ocean's greatest haul. McDonald's filet o fish the most golden of them all. Right now, get two flaky filet o fish sandwiches for just $5. If you've been injured in an automobile accident, don't give a written or recorded statement until you speak to us. Visit ForThePeople.com. Morgan & Morgan. For the people. You are never far away from a new Toyota. Find the latest offers on your tablet or phone. Toyota is everywhere you are at buyatoyota.com. Now, during the final days of Toyota's Anytime, Anywhere event, get this 2016 Camry with 0 for 60 financing plus $500 bonus cash. Get $1,250 customer cash or a $179 a month lease. So visit here and then come in here. Now through February 29th. Toyota, let's go places. This is Brett Melrose. With winter almost here, the experienced team at Fayette Heating and Air stands ready to serve you. Dedicated to keeping you and your family comfortable around the clock. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. With no additional overtime fees ever. Fayette Heating and Air, we're the biggest because we're the best. And we're here for you anytime, day or night. Call 233-0424. Fayette Heating and Air, complete home solutions. This is what precision looks like, helping you see what's hard to see, thanks to Terrain Denali's Side Blind Zone Alert that uses radar to watch your blind spots. So it's true, mom does have eyes in the back of her head. The new, meticulously crafted 2016 Terrain Denali from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. Or current lessees switch to GMC and get this low mileage lease on this Terrain SLE1 for around $199 per month. Visit your Bluegrass GMC dealer today. My name is Bob DeArmond. I've had irregular heartbeat since 2007. In 2013, Bob took part in a clinical research trial where a cardiac ablation procedure corrected his atrial fibrillation or irregular heartbeat. As the nation's first hospital to receive AFib accreditation, our specialists help patients like Bob live healthier lives. I feel very, very blessed and I lead a normal, active life. CarTown Kia USA wants you to pick your payment all month. Drive home a new 2016 Kia Soul for zero down and only $1.99 a month. Bad credit or no credit. Our specialists are standing by to get you approved today. Drive home a 2016 Soul, Forte, Optima, Sorento, or Sedona today. Pick your payment all month long at CarTown Kia USA. A 2016 Forte for as low as $209 a or month. Or a 2015 Optima for as low as $239 a month. We'll buy your car for cash even if you don't buy one from us. These gray skies, you can shake them up. We can wake them up. Wake up with a hot McCafe coffee starting at only $1. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Every year going into the NCAA tournament, I make a guarantee. You give me five teams to choose from, and I guarantee you the national champion comes from that group. It's worked every year for the last 25 years except one. In 2014, UConn was not in my group, and they won the title. So this year, I'm getting close to making my group, and I have six that I think the champion comes from. Kansas, Oklahoma, Michigan State, North Carolina, Maryland, and yes, I'm putting Kentucky in the group. I wasn't ready to do that a couple weeks ago, but the NCAA tournament is all about guards, and Kentucky's guards are as good as anybody in the country. Tyler Ulis and Jamal Murray are maybe the best backcourt for March that I see throughout college basketball. They can score, pass, shoot free throws, and in close games in the tournament, that's a recipe for winning. Now, I'll cut one of those teams from my six to make my final five. 
and Kentucky's still on the brink. If the big guys don't consistently play and if Alex doesn't come back well, they can't win it. But with what I've seen these last couple weeks, UK is a legitimate national title contender and they have a chance in March to make a very special run. I'm Matt Jones and this has been Overtime. All right, crazy year in college basketball. And pretty crazy, crazy year in your weather department, my weather. friends. That's right, emoji cast for the day tomorrow. When you're up and at them in the morning, it's still dreary. You're a little on the angry side because it's still dreary. Tomorrow afternoon, those skies brighten up. Put a little smile on your face. How about the long range call for the weekend, Saturday? You're good because of the temperatures, not so good because it could be a shower. Better rain chances as we go into Sunday. Love those sunshades. Rainy emoji. <laughs> All right.